Hi, I'm Ricky from American Golf. So as a result of our Twitter poll, we're doing tips to help you with problems that you're occurring when you're on the golf course. So today it's my job to tell you a little bit about how to avoid a slice. Um, and that's more prominent when we're using the driver. So let's give it a try. So the first things are first, good fundamentals. We want to make sure our ball position is right. We want to make sure our body is aligned properly. Feet, knees, hips and shoulders all parallel to the target line. Sometimes if the ball position is a little bit far forward, for example, it can lead to the shoulders being open and that's going to cause us to have an outside-in swing path which is going to give us that slice. So making sure we're all uh, set up nice and square, everything's parallel to our target line and our ball's just off our inside of our left uh, instep with the driver. Now during the swing, what normally happens is in an effort to gain more power, the upper body pushes the club outside and we end up with the, the large left to right uh, shape on our shots. So when we make our swing, we really want to try and feel that we're staying connected, that the tops of our arms are staying connected to our chest during the swing. That's going to keep the club hopefully working more downwards in the way, on the way down from the, the top of the back swing and getting the club a little bit more neutral coming through uh, the, the hitting area down at the bottom of the swing. So a couple of little rehearsals before I hit my shot. So I feel the club coming down and the hands, uh, or the, the tops of my arms staying connected to my chest. And one more time, so it's coming down, arms are staying close to my chest. Now let's give it a try. Same sort of feeling. Maybe if I'm at the practice area I can do it sort of 50% power so I can really feel what I'm trying to do as I become kind of acquainted with it. So let's give it a go. It's a pretty decent result. I could really feel myself, I could feel my arms staying on my chest and the club moving more down into a more neutral position rather than the, everything pushing forward as I try to gain a little bit more power. But I would really concentrate on the fundamentals first. If you're struggling with those, pop into an American Golf Store. We've got a PGA Pro on site and, uh, and then best of luck with it.